around them at the 650 and Proxy got squeezed back to last in on the rail. Verdello Blue's done it very well for Pike. When they come to the 500, he's still on top, leading about a long neck, but Damajo going easily second. The forgotten one pulled out for Patterson. He goes up there three deep now. They're sprinting hard and the grey got left flat-footed, Verdello Blue. Drive West is out there deeper. In the middle, Proxy tracking up, but the forgotten one, and they've had a good go at it too, and he races to a clear lead at the 150 from Badamajo, already famous. Then Proxy Drive West, but the Forgotten One's extending and drawing right away from them. And the Forgotten One for Banjo wins it two lengths. Badamajo, already famous, might have grabbed third and nose in front of Proxy. Drive West, Fulger, and Verdello Blue has gone virtually from chocolates to boiled lollies and whipped them all in back there, stone motherless last. The Forgotten One. Makes it back-to-back -back victories here, the Blackfriars gilding. Good start for the day for the Durant and uh, Miller team. They've saddled up the first two winners. Ben Patterson giving this gilding the sweetest of rides. One out in an ideal trail. He pulled out at the top of the straight there and he kicked clear. And the race was all over once they'd balanced for the run to the line. Number seven, the forgotten one. Too good for Badama Joe. Is stuck on well. And uh, behind them, it's pretty tight between Proxy and Already Famous for third placing in a time of 2.15.15. The Forgotten One by the state's leading sire, Blackfriars, out of the Mukadama Mare, dedicated miss, owned by Rene Durant, trained by Jeff Durant, Jason Miller, with Ben Patterson aboard. And that's win number four from 17 starts. He's put together two in a line. But Damajo is second home. Number one by Helenus out of Gatebender for B and Mrs. C. Owen, the estate of the late KJ, Mrs. P. Clatworthy and R. Itstein. Trained by Tara Itstein, handled by Clint Johnston Porter. And third placing to number two. Already famous has got that nod for third, just in front of Proxy. A Viscount Roaster Gilding, trained by Ann King, Jordan Turner, the rider, a nose to Proxy, Pat Carberry, fourth. 372.20, back from 5.15 to 3.90, though the forgotten one landing. Some pretty handy bets in that small field. $4 even for Badama J, and no third already famous. 34.86, they... They quickened up. They didn't roll anywhere near the tempo that Vidalo Blue got stuck into last start. And uh, when they sprinted, he couldn't. The 10-year-old, and he needed to be rolling a bit sooner than that, but he finished well back in the field. The margins are two lengths by one. Two lengths and a length. The next of the day, the running of the Perth Racing .com au handicap at 145. It's over 1,200. Number two, Fath Noxious won't run. It's the scratching out of the third. Let's head down now to uh, Adam McGrath and he's about to be joined by co-trainer Jeff Durant after the stable have produced the first two winners on this afternoon's program. Really nice performance again by the Forgotten One and Jeff, we're starting to remember this horse now. It was running like namesake. It had been 300 odd days since it last won but now back to back victories. Yeah, we've um, changed the way we're training the Black Friars just of late and um yeah, they all, I think we've had five individual winners with Black Fries in the last couple of weeks. So it's all good. And Pato's been coming to the stables, doing plenty of work. And um, this is his reward. He's only had one ride today. Um, deserves more than that because he is riding well. Can you let us know about some of these changes to the training methods or are we going to keep that a little bit secret? <laughs> Mate, they just weren't going anywhere, so we had to change it. <laughs> Well, tell us about this horse, because it's one that we thought had so much potential. Burst onto the scene, was running some really nice races over the 1,600 metres, and then just started putting in those average performances. But by all reports, had been working the house down at home. So you must be happy now that you're starting to see that track work come to the race day. Yeah, over the winter, I don't know, he just didn't like the wet or something. Something just wasn't right with him, you know. But, um, yeah, he's just turned around just of late. He just looks better in himself, and, yeah, that's just the way it's happening. I remember speaking to Jason Miller and they were hoping to stay at the 1,800 metres, but the way the programming worked, forced to come this one. But now you've learnt stepping up to the 2,150, further as this horse has won out. So it gives you a couple more options with these staying events. Yeah, exactly. The, his mother, you know, we owe a lot to her. She was 1,800, was the best. She won the Strickland and that couple of group threes. So um, it all goes back to there. We've still got her and all of our offspring. So, um, but he's about the same. I thought 1,800 would be his best, but he's won over that bit further today. So we're all grateful. Just goes to show if you keep a mare and if you've got faith in her, you put the money in and she gives it to you back. Great start to the team as well. Back-to-back -back races. Yeah, thank you. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you.
Well, grand winning jockey Ben Patterson. Ben, uh, Jeff was just speaking then and mentioned that you've been putting in the work. You're not getting as many rides as you should, but you're making them count when you do get them. Yeah, well, that's the way. You've got to, uh, you've got to make the most of the opportunities and uh, grateful to Durant and Miller Stable for putting me on. You must have been confident coming into this race after the run last start and knowing that there was going to be a nice tempo here today. Look, it's always going to suit him. Horse has ability. Um, he just needed to put a couple together and I think his confidence uh, grew a bit the other week. So, you know, onwards and upwards, he's doing everything right. Confidence is a big word, isn't it? We saw with Princess Jasmine racing so well for the team as well. Gets that win, then comes out and does it again. The forgotten one maybe just needed that reminder of how to find the front. I think so. Like you said, he's always had a little bit of uh, ability, but he's just had to find himself again. And obviously he's in a bit of a purple patch, so hopefully he can keep it going. One ride last Saturday, one win on the forgotten one. Same again this Saturday. Congratulations. Gonna have it, aren't I? Well done, mate. There's Ben Patterson, the winning jockey aboard at the forgotten one, which has taken out race number two here at Ascot over the 2150 metres.